Like a bunch of UFC fighters are getting in on it now. Like my tweets, like even in the bio, it says like you could donate if you want. It's not required. All the money goes towards me and fight cams, just training or helping the stream. Genetti MMA. Genetti MMA. Yeah, I know like Steve is on there. Robert Whitaker's on there. That's the part of it, you know, being able to live your dream, do what you want to do yeah, day in exactly. and day out. What the hell is that? What the fuck is that? You hear that? There's an alarm going off in Fortnite. Bro, I hear that. Does anybody hear that? I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. Stop talking. <laughs> Did it just... well, why don't you guys fucking answer me then? Because I'm trying to listen to it and all I hear is angry Mike Dinello. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good point. <laughs> I'm kidding, I love it. One of my first dates I went with on my girlfriend. I took her to a Bruins game. Current and, girlfriend. Current girlfriend. Okay. Took her to a Bruins game, and they had something over the big screen, and it was like, tweet, hashtag, Bruins beat, or something like that, with the song you want. And I tweeted, Whitney Houston, I want to dance with somebody. And like 10 minutes later, they ended up playing it. And the whole place went nuts. They had a dance cam. Everybody was laughing. They were smiling. My girlfriend was so pissed. She's like, I can't <laughs> believe they're actually playing it. <laughs> Here we go. South Shore, that's what you need when you enter the door. Nice little gut check. I don't know, he's always had it, man. You know what I mean? Like, he's, it, nothing's really changed. It's business as usual. It just happens to be on, on a, a national stage now, man. And, uh, you know, I've said it before, I'll say it again, like, one of the hardest working guys I know, uh, especially in the sport, but just all together. Um, he puts his mind to something and he gets it done. Um, and I'm so happy for him, not even just as a teammate, but as a, you know, a good friend now that he's making this happen for himself. And um, yeah, I couldn't be happier for him. <laughs> I, got, I gotta keep up with the kid, you know what I mean? You, you, know, you, you guys have seen it on TV now, but this is what we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis in here. So, you know, if, you know, this is the kind of guy that I'm going with you know, most of the time when I'm in here, this is the kind of level of stuff that we have in here. And he's not the only one, but you know, um, it helped me raise my game, you know, and I can take all the help if I can get, you know what I mean? So we're always trying to get better. So um, it definitely, it definitely ups my game. 13 and 0, I, I'm pretty sure he's 13 and 0, Alan. Um, he uh, definitely has the most experience in the house professionally. Um, so that was definitely, a, you know, a little, you know, a little tidbit that we're like, all right, we gotta watch out for this guy uh, in the show. But um, I think Joe's range is gonna be too much. Um, and I think, you know, going with Joe myself, I, I get desperate when we're, when we're doing, you know, MMA rounds and stuff. And then I start shooting from far out. And I don't know, man, I just, I see him finishing this guy too. I think his range is gonna be too much and uh, he'll get desperate. And uh, I'm, I'm sure he'll find a submission. When it gets to its lowest point, a little past halfway through, um, I think about it like a fight, and like a fight's not going my way, and it's just a long, grueling battle, and I just got to keep going and do my best and come out with you. And for this workout, it's just finishing. So, Alan Zuniga, he's your opponent coming up tonight. Obviously, we all got to see how emotionally he was. Um, how much of it, if it was you in that situation, would you feel relieved, yet at the same time bummed? Um, I would feel bummed for the reason that I wouldn't get to fight for the finish bonus. That's what I fight for every time I fight to finish my opponents. Um, I think the way that he reacted, it was it kind of pissed me off. It was a little bit of an overreaction. Mm -hmm. I know that he was bummed. He said he had no money. I would have felt the same way, but even though he, we were on opposite teams, I probably would have worried about the other guy a little bit more. And to be honest, I'd be a little relieved. Like, okay, I didn't get the fight. It sucks. I don't get the bonus, but I'm one step closer to being the ultimate fighter. So I think that he reacted wrong, but then again, he doesn't have a lot of money, so I can't really blame him too much. So I felt like the bonus a little bit was a sympathy from what was on TV. The way yeah. Dana was like, well, you got the finish. You know, you finished him. How did, I felt like that was a little cheap. I felt like it was a slap in the face. Um, I mean, I got picked first by Steve Bay to fight his boy from home mm. and I put him away in under 20 seconds and I cut the weight and I worked my ass off of that fight and I had to work for my bonus and to see somebody just the gift itself was going to the semifinals that's his gift mm. and like I said it sucks not being able to fight for the money but your gift is now you get in, you're healthy you 100% yeah. get to fight the semifinals there's no reason that you should get something that I had to fight for mm. so that kind of pissed me off 
I mean, he's 13 and 0. I mean, he's had he has some brutal knockouts. He's got power in both his hands. Um, he's only 5 6, but he's head kicks and guys as tall as me and put them in, just put him down. I think it's going to be a tough one. When he said he was going to try out, I was like, you know, don't be too discouraged if you don't make it. Like, I, I always treat it like our guy's the underdog. And, um, I, you know, I knew he was undefeated, so he had a chance. And I was like, I kind of suggested a few things, like maybe kind of, you know, don't use your best moves in the tryout and on the show, which I think he kind of listened to. And um, Joe definitely came down, with, came back with some new tricks that I probably, probably will mention, but he came back with a few, a few kind of almost exaggerated his style. I kind of thought they'd make him more orthodox. I kind of base my guy. My guys were all different. I don't train cookie cutter. They're all very, very different styles. You really couldn't get more different fighters than Joe and Manny. And um, I think that's a good thing. And um, I think I was worried that they would get more orthodox, that they would hear, hey, don't do flying on virus. That's crazy and low percentage. Because I think it's important that fighters do low percentage things until they're high percentage with them. Because to just fight orthodox cookie cutter, it just doesn't work that good. You need something, some things you're really good at and specialize in. If you don't know Joe, his style's gonna get you. You know, it, 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 it just, he's just, like Manny, they both have some strange feelings, things that they do in, in all aspects that is kind of unique to them. And um, if you don't, if I didn't know Joe and I got on the mat with him, I'd get tapped on in two seconds. If I got into the kickboxing match with him, I wouldn't know what was happening. I know Joe, and my guys know him. If you don't know him, I know you're gonna have a really hard time unless you know him really, really well. Which is why in training on the show, he's told me a lot about how he let people down long paths. You know, he didn't let them know what he was gonna do, mm. which, you know, played out great in the first fight. He throws a lot of punches that aren't designed to knock you off. That's boxing, man. He's, he's setting you up, you know. Um, he's long, and he, he, he lulls you. He, you know, he frustrates you. He gets you to step into his big shot, whether it's a punch, kick, or a knee. Um, it's different, man. He goes after you like, you know, he's double parked. He's trying to rip your head off, you know. Like punch, 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 shoot, clench, punch. Like, he's swinging hard. Joe's, Joe's giving you a false sense of security. And again, I, I'm weird. Uh, we're, we're, we're a bargain basement gym. We kind of make it up as we go along. We don't belong to a system, as they say, which I think is our greatest strength. We don't teach Muay Thai or boxing. We teach MMA and everything. Some of guys are more wrestling based. Some of Joe likes to kick a knee. Maybe he likes to punch. You know, they're, they're different. And um, that's just his style. He's long and he's, trust me, he knows what he's doing. Follow us on Instagram. Watch us on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook, visit us on Twitter, and stay tuned.